not to fall in love. Aye, aye, Captain Bird. Ha! They all laughed at my great genius. But when those puny-minded inventors meet for their annual invention convention, I, Mule Bird, will get the last laugh. on the horses. Howdy, Colorado. Howdy, Shags. Whoa, wait. Did you hear that? That pooch just said howdy. Is your hat on a little too tight again, kid? You know pooches can't talk. Wanna bet? Huh. Now I've seen everything. Hey, partners. I sure am dog tired. Can you get me some water? And while you're at it, I could also go for a nice big juicy bone. Is that right? Huh? What's a big idea, Cody? I was just trying out my new invention. With this telephone, a voice can travel through a string so people could talk to each other without even being there. <laughs> now, why would anyone want to talk to someone who's not there? <laughs> that there's the plum silliest idea I never heard. Well, yeah, I think this is pretty clever. He's even taken me to the invention convention. Well, if JR thinks it's pretty clever, then maybe the calf finds on to something. Oh, uh, come on, Buffalo Bull. Please show us your invention. Well, you'll just have to wait for my presentation. It's going to be a big surprise. It will all be a surprise if it works. That's very funny, J.R. The demonstration of my genius is about to begin. Now, drop the claw. You're dropping the claw, Captain. My distinguished colleagues, the first presentation will be by Mr. Buffalo Bull. Why, thank you. Uh, my invention is the steam-powered whirly gig. Oh, 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 when yeah. the gizmo turns this thingamabob, the whole shebang will lift up into the air. I love all that inventor talk. Stop the please. Oh, 
Let's back it off. Close call there, buddy. You almost ended up a big fatty. Yeah, but what about Mule's bird? Looks like he's sailing away scot-free. The first part of my plan worked perfectly. And now, for the help of these inventors, nothing can stop me from taking over all of New Mesa! <laughs> be some kind of genius, because he sure outsmarted us. We couldn't even find a trace of him. But what's he planning to do with all them inventors? There's only one way to find out. We need air power to match you. Oh, hold up there, Rilla. Now, how are we going to do that, Mo? J.R. and Buffalo Bull, we're on that dad blame river boat. We could go out to J.R.'s place. Yeah, and maybe one of his leftover inventions or plans can help us. Now, you're talking. Let's rodeo. Them, like Captain Bell. Hey. Oh, boy, honey, this is worse than looking for a needle in a haystack. Oh! Well, I found the needle. Keep looking. There's got to be something here at JR's that can help us catch mules. Captain Bell sends his greetings. Uh, what's that fathead done with poor little Cody? Dakota, no! I can't see! What's going on around here? Stand back! You're a fast machine! I'll get a move! Let's get out of here, Miss Ami. You're getting away. Oh, no, they ain't. Huh? Look, there they go. Hold on, there's only three of them. You two keep after them. I'm going back for the other one. Just as I thought. You are too late, Marshal. This whole place is going to blow sky high. And there's no way you can stop it. Now it's time to take the bull by the horns. Move, move. Those farmers got away. That ain't our biggest problem. Take cover. Yes. What happened, Moo? Mule's men tried to blow up JR's shop, which means there's got to be something awfully important in there. A plan for a hot air balloon. Just what we needed. We're going to need Miss Lily's help for this one. Let's just hope we can stop whatever Mule's is up to. Step out in, gentlemen. Welcome to your new home. Home? I absolutely refuse to hang my hat in this place. Ah, but you will be quite busy here, whether you like it or not. There's work to be done. Well, you've got your captive audience, Fairburn. Now, what do you want from us? It's very simple. You are going to help me become the greatest leader in all of Mesa. Why, you're madder than a two-headed woodpecker. You would say that after I take over the governor's mansion. Then, it's only a matter of time before I seize the presidency. That's impossible. Anything's possible once you help me build this. A robot cowboy? Ingenious, isn't it? With this gargantuan machine, nothing will stand in my way. And no one will ever laugh at puny mule's bird again. There's going to be a way to stop him. Now settle down, kid. This ain't no time for heroics. We need a plan. That's it. Such the plan, Shag. Blast it, Doc. Get him!
good work, boys. Now, take that annoying little pet and throw him in the storage room. Hey, you can't lock my dog up. Oh, really? Throw the calf in with him. Uh, you're just a big bully. At least Cody will be safe and out of harm's way when Marshal Moo shows up. Hey, if he does show up. Now that's a mighty fine needlework, if I do say so myself. I'm much obliged for everyone's help, Miss Lily. The boys and I could have never gotten this balloon sewn up in time. <laughs> Especially since Dakota here is all thumbs with that needle. Well, I just need some more practice, is all. Let's fly, boys. We gotta hurry. Yeah, that mule's burn is trickier than a rattlesnake in a bedroll. <laughs> I hope this here thing works, Moo. Just remember the code of the West. What comes up always comes down. Well, I just hope we come down the mat so that we're going up. See anything, Colorado? Just a lot of land, but no sign of mules. You having any luck, Dakota? I'm reckon my luck would be a little better when my hooves are planted firmly on the ground. Land ho! Looks like some kind of fortress or something. And there's Mule's airship. I wonder if he sees us. He sees us all right. We missed him by a hair! Don't disappoint me, men. Here comes another one, Moo. Like the code of the West says. Well, I hope Moo and the boys are on their way to stop this loony goon. 
Now, I just hope little Cody's okay. I just hope Moo's okay, Shag. That was a nasty fall. Hey, Shag, a campfire. That means the moon's getting closer. If only we could get word to him. That's it. With a little string from these blankets and a couple of cans. <laughs> Everything's ready, Shag. Whoop, whoop. Now remember, you've got to find that campsite. Where there's fire, there's moon. I just hope there's enough string. I'm colder than a mosquito on an ice cube. Make that two mosquitoes, Dakota. Sit tight, boys. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> what are you doing out here, Shags? Holy heifers! It's one of them strange, whatchamacallit, Cody cans! I reckon Cody sent this little pooch out here to find us. Cody? Moo! I hear you! Loud and clear! Well, I'll be an armadillo's uncle. Little Cody's invention came in handy after all. Mules is building a giant cowboy, and he's gonna take over the governor's mansion, and he's... Now, slow down, kid. Take it from the beginning. No time for that, Moo. Mules' machine is gonna be ready by morning. Well, there's no way to get up to the fortress. We better warn Governor Cusworth. Well, his place is on the other side of Moo Mesa, and our horses are in Cowtown. Well, then let's stop jawboating, because it's a long walk back. It's big. It's beautiful. It's and best of all, he's walking! He's afraid of that. They can't help it. They're brilliant, you know. Now, nothing can stop me. Onward to greet the governor! Gonna give him a run for his money.
work for the best invention in all of Rometa goes to Little Cody for his telephone. All right, here, yeah, fine. Hello, boy. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Congratulations, little buddy. I always knowed it was a great idea. 